to bring you on the ultimate twilight adventure. We made it! From Vancouver, British Columbia to the sandy beaches of Brazil, we reveal the cast's favorite local hotspots, exclusive behind the scene tours. This is the actual bedroom of Edward and Bella. And adventures sure to get your pulse pumping. Look at me, Kristen Stewart! Whether you're Team Jacob or Team Edward, this is one trip that can't be missed. So get ready. Fan Quest Twilight starts right now. Let's get ready to party. The Twilight Film Saga is based on four vampire-themed fantasy romance novels written by author Stephanie Meyer. The story starts when a young girl named Isabella Swan, played by Kristen Stewart, falls in love with a 104-year-old vampire named Edward Cullen, played by British heartthrob Robert Pattinson. While the books are set in the real-life town of Forks, Washington, the film series was shot in various locations around the Pacific Northwest, with the majority being shot in and around Vancouver, British Columbia, which is right where this fan quest begins. Today, I'm spending the day with Christine, who is a Twilight Saga expert, and you're going to kind of be showing me around a bunch of the, the filming locations of the Twilight cast. Today. I will. I tried to be on almost every single location as a bystander, really? watching what was going on. And we are starting here in Stanley Park, not only because it's a Vancouver landmark, but because they actually shot a lot of scenes in the Twilight films here, correct? Yeah, they did. They were shooting here, actually, right behind us. We're on a location where they shot uh, some stunt scenes and some uh, wood... I would say second unit shots, but with the main cast. Tell me a little bit about Stanley Park. What are some of the activities that you can do when you come here? So first you could rent a bike and you could ride the seawall, which is about 10 kilometers or five miles. And you could also rollerblade, you could walk. There's 150 miles of trails throughout the park. You really? can take a sightseeing tour from the airplane. And there's about five or six nice restaurants as well. So this is probably what, think, oh, one of the biggest tourist hotspots in Vancouver? One of the biggest. Mm. It's a must see location. Okay, here we are at Capilano River Regional Park. It's beautiful. It is. There's lots going on here in this park. Behind us, you see Capilano Lake. And all this water is held back by Cleveland Dam, which is a filming location. It is beautiful. It is. It's quite spectacular. Twilight Saga movies based in Vancouver. A lot of the Twilight fans who come on my tour, they say, oh my gosh, this is so good. It's just like, just like in the movie. It is just like in the movie. And they recognize the location where Edward broke up with Bella or Bella's running through the woods or Victoria is being chased by the wolves. The fans get really excited because they could recognize that right here in these yeah. woods. No, it's really cool. Melissa, if you like this location, wait till you see what I have in store for you. What do we have coming up? We get to go see Jacob's house. Really? Yeah. And no more, no more woods hiking. No more woods. Yeah, hiking. I didn't really wear the right shoes, so <laughs> let's go see. The location used for Jacob's house is on private property and can only be seen from the road, unless you get lucky like us and happen to run into the owner. We're going into Jacob's house. So this is it. This is it. This is my ramshackle barn. <laughs> there was probably a foot of manure in it before I swept it out, and uh, they decided that this is where they wanted to, to shoot, and who was I to argue? But so they changed this whole thing. They came, uh, kind of came in and... I sort of kept it this way, thinking I might give a tour someday. I never did. But well, now you are. Here we are now. Right? Yeah, yeah. You look like they left something behind. Yeah, they did. They left a few things behind. Uh, I guess it has that cachet of... Um, Having had a Hollywood movie here. That's true. The house has a fun story now, right? It does. So this is like the actual, real, authentic Jacob's Cottage where they filmed. So this was taken out all together, and then they put their little fireplace area here. I left that. That's original. And then they put this cladding up as well. This room never existed, the one that you see here. This is uh, a wall and door that they added. This is where they jumped off over this rail and then across the... Um, so a little creek, there. yeah. And then through to the back, you can see the fire pit, which they get that big fire. Yeah, way back there. Yeah. Well, there you go. Inside Jacob's house. 
Christine, thank you so much You're for giving good. me this Twilight tour today. I think the Jacob House was the ultimate fan tour. So, how could people get a hold of you if they want to come take one themselves? Easy. On Location Tours Vancouver, which is the name of my company, mm -hmm. dot com. As for Christine, it's worth it. After leaving Jacob's house, I headed north to beautiful Squamish, British Columbia. Known for its stunning views and picturesque landscapes, it's no surprise that this area is seen throughout the Twilight Saga. It's also the perfect place to walk in Taylor Lautner's footsteps and learn how to ride a dirt bike, just like he did while preparing for his role in Twilight. I am here at Cat Lake with Bill, who, I know you're a stuntman, but what else do you do? You do a lot. Uh, well, I run a shop, and then we also sell bikes, but the bulk of our business for the movie industry, um, we supply motorcycles for them, mm -hmm. and then also we do a lot of rider training. You have a little tie with the movie Twilight. We supplied the motorcycles for the show. The brand new bikes, I mean, I look like old bikes. My favorite scene from pretty much all the Twilights was a New Moon, and it was when Kristen Stewart Bella um, started to learn how to drive the dirt bike, and she got a little adventurous, was getting a little risky, and we saw her crash. Uh. And I can't really get hurt, right? I mean, this is this Yeah, you can really hurt, actually. So. I like that you don't sugarcoat things, you know? You tell me right now it is. I'm starting to sweat here, Bill. <laughs> Make a man out of you yet. Make a man out of really? me. That's what I want. First thing you want to get on, there's your knee guards, and then boots, and then body armor, helmet. Probably. Okay, but I need to take these off to get that off. Yeah, sure, go ahead. This stuff works awesome. Oh, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> you want to wear your earrings? Oh, you don't normally wear earrings to a motocross? Well, sometimes. Does that matter? That might be an advantage. <laughs> hey, there you go. They were angling with everybody, they were super friendly. And later, we traveled to South America to show you the romantic vampire hideaway that any mortal can rent. I'm game. All that and more when FanQuest Twilight returns. 